Right, so this is a video game review for Frank Herbert's Dune for the PC. This game was unfortunately released by Cryo in around 2001, and is a truly awful game. Based on the much-loved science fiction novel Dune, this game seeks to have you, and I quote from the blurb on the box, Explore Dune, learn the weirding ways to fight the Sardukars, harass the Harkonnens, sabotage their spice f factories, mount the giant sandworms, and use the spice to foresee enemy positions. So how much of that did I actually get around to doing? Well, none of it. You see, not only is this game so unappealing in its clunky game engine cutscenes, with just terrible voice acting and really... <laughs> I don't know how best to describe it, but like kind of creepy close-ups, which which also seem to glitch. Um, I mean, the the dialogue can't even keep up with the the subtitles at times. But you know, on top of that, the fact that the game is just completely unappealing. The game's so fecking hard that I I never really got around to exploring Dune, learning the weirding ways, or any of the other things on the list. The game begins with a cutscene involving what I assume is the Reverend uh, Mother Mahome, uh, but the game kind of cut midway through her talking. I was like, you know, my, my disc was absolutely scratch free in my, in my computer phone, so I was thinking, hmm, it's kind of unusual. But anyway, uh, so it moved into this other cutscene, uh, kind of well, awkwardly to say the least, and you know, even even some of the the speech said by one character mis was mistakenly overlaid on top of existing talking and it was the same character I was like so th this uh, this early on gave me certain um, a distinct impression that the uh, the beta testers had found a better use of their time you're thrown into the game trying to escape from a giant uh, sandworm and assuming that you do and believe me when I say it is possible to just kinda give up before that ever happens, you make your way to the nearby Fremen Siege where you talk to Stilgar and Chani and uh, get what you need for your first mission uh, to take down a Harkonnen spice harvester. Of course, Paul, your character, can't take the easy route and just bring a few mates with him, but rather takes on, and I quote, a suicidal mission. So let's just recap. For your first mission in this game, your character chooses to embark on a mission that will kill him. Bloody hell, this is going to be fun. Seriously, the graphics aren't the worst I've ever seen in the game, but certainly could be overlooked if there was a def decent game attached to it. But what with the awkward camera, the arrow controls, which make navigating and turning corners properly just a challenge in itself, when confronted with dozens of enemies with uh, a limited gun and a knife that really doesn't stab unless you're an inch away from them, it's really just not a fair contest. In fact, upon coming back to this game, I almost gave up at the Sandworm Challenge, which doesn't even allow you to move the camera to see where you're meant to go. There's, there's meant to be two types of you know, sand, the sand that you can walk on and the one that you have to wade through and slows you down, and I, I just couldn't even find the path to get out of this place, so it, it was ridiculous. Uh, there's, there's no in-game save, so if you die, then, well, you go back to the beginning of the mission. Now, I mean, to be honest, like, stealth games aren't you know, they may not be my forte, but this game is just a joke. It has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. And, I mean, the greatest of piss takes, I think, from this game was the fact that I couldn't even quit the game. I mean, I had to literally open up the task manager before promptly uninstalling the game. The only... The only uh, shot of amusement I could say was when when your character gets uh, hit by an enemy projectile weapon. It looks like he's getting like a, a particularly nasty shot to the uh, to the backside, and it's quite quite funny to watch. But aside from that, there's no redeeming qualities to this game, and like there's there's nothing that would make you want to play beyond the like the 40 second consecutive death sequence. Now the only ounce of pity I have is for any 
like poor child who received this as a present by an unsuspecting grandparent, only to cry him or herself to sleep that night about how shit this game really is. Now, I've never played another game by Cryo, and it's probably for the best, really, as this game is just so badly finished, it just defies belief as to how it ever got published. This game should not exist full stop. I mean, it's bad enough that this is a pants game, but even worse, it just, it just shits all over the Dune name that it uses. Um, I mean, if you really want a great Dune game, get yourself Emperor Battle for Dune, one of my favourite games ever made. And I'm not just saying that because I happen to like the Dune series, it's just... It's just one of the best strategy games, like, ever. I, I think it, it truly is. Best real-time strategy game ever. And I will, uh, I'm sure, get around to doing a review of that in due course. But, um, you know, even, even gay if you're not even a Dune fan. But as for this one, Frank Herbert's Dune, um, this is just bloody awful, honestly. So, this gets a 1 out of 10. And that's me.